Welcome to our video series on learning version control with Git. Today we'll talk about installing and configuring Git on your computer. If you're on Mac OS, you can use a comfortable one-click installer. You can then use Terminal App to work with Git. You find this in the Utilities group of your Applications folder. On Windows, there's also an easy installer available. Complete the installation with the default settings and you'll find a new Git Bash application that you can use to work with Git. If you're using Linux, you can install Git through the package management tools. On Fedora, you can use Yum, and on Debian based distributions like Ubuntu, you can use apt-get. After having Git installed, you should make some basic configurations. First, let's set your name and email address. This is important because Git needs to set the author for your commits. Start Terminal App on your Mac or Git Bash on Windows. Type git config dash dash global user dot name and your name or git config dash dash global user dot email and your email address. Finally, a word on the structure of Git commands. As you might have noticed already, all Git commands start with git. And this is followed by the specific command and potentially some parameters. We'll see lots of these in action in the following videos. In case you need help with any command, you can always type git followed by the command and the help parameter. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you in our next videos.